Ideal Transformer An ideal transformer is an imaginary transformer which has no losses and input power equals output power. Concept of such transformer exists to make problems easier. Characteristics of an ideal transformer are Zero winding resistance which means resistance of both primary and secondary winding is zero. That is, both the coils are purely inductive in nature. Transformer has 100% efficiency. So, there are no losses, and the input power is equal to the output power. No flux leakage. That is, the whole amount of flux from primary is linked to secondary winding. So, there is no flux leakage. No iron loss. As the iron core is subjected to alternating flux, there occurs eddy current and hysteresis loss. These two losses together are called as iron loss. And it is zero in ideal transformer. When an alternating voltage V1 is supplied to the primary winding of an ideal transformer, a counter EMF E1 is induced in the primary winding. Since there is no resistance, this induced EMF, E1 will be exactly equal to the applied voltage, but, 180 degree opposite in phase. The current drawn from the source, produces required magnetic flux. As the primary winding resistance is zero, the current, lags EMF, E1, by 90 degree. This current is called, magnetizing current, IMU. This magnetizing current produces alternating magnetic flux, phi. This flux gets linked with the secondary winding, and EMF, E2 is induced, by mutual induction. This, E2 is in phase with, E1. If the circuit is closed at secondary winding, then, secondary current, I2, is produced. That is, E1, into I1, equals, E2, into, I2. Practical Transformer In practical transformer, we have losses like, winding resistance, leakage flux, and iron losses, which were absent in ideal transformer. Here, we are going to study two cases. No load condition. On load condition. Let us understand about, practical transformer, on no load condition first. In no load transformer. The circuit on the secondary side is open. V1 is the primary voltage, and I1 is the primary current. Here, I1 has two components. One component is responsible for generation of magnetic flux. This is called magnetizing component of I1 and is denoted by I mu. Second component, which is responsible for magnetic losses, that is, hysteresis and eddy current losses, and primary winding losses, known as, core loss component, IC. So, we can represent the transformer on no load condition, with its equivalent circuit diagram as, where, on primary side, V1, is primary voltage, R1, is primary winding resistance, X1, is primary leakage reactance. I1 is no load primary current. IC is core loss component of I1. I mu is magnetizing component of I1. IC is core loss resistance. XM is magnetizing reactance. N1 is number of turns in primary winding. E1 is primary induced EMF. On the secondary side, R2 is secondary winding resistance. X2 is secondary leakage reactance. N2 is secondary winding turns. E2 is secondary induced EMF. V2 is secondary terminal voltage. We represent this in phasor diagram. Now, let us learn about practical transformer on load. Here, the secondary side is closed circuited with a load. 
its equivalent circuit diagram will be where on primary side v1 is primary voltage i1 is primary current i0 is no load primary current r1 is primary winding resistance x1 is primary leakage reactance ic is core loss component of i1 i mu is magnetizing component of i1 ic is core loss resistance xm is magnetizing reactance n1 is number of turns in primary winding e1 is primary induced emf on secondary side r2 is secondary winding resistance x2 is secondary leakage reactance n2 is secondary winding turns e2 is secondary induced emf v2 is secondary voltage i2 is secondary current we represent the loaded transformer as phasor diagram